All praise unto Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Hashem, Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone, and the honesty brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. So this here is going to be a quick video um, related to the uh, topic of uh, suffering, uh, suffering for this truth. And um, I'm going to try and make it as concise as possible. Uh, but the the objective of this video is to um to to let you know that this is going to be a hard road. Okay, this is going to be a very difficult road. Um, you know, it's exciting times uh, when you're looking at it from the perspective of the kingdom being set up. But in order to get to that sweet, sweet uh, place that we get to go to, we got to do a little bit of suffering, man. Okay, uh, and I say a little bit, not in the sense of amount. I just meant it as a as a as a descriptive word to put in front of that uh, statement. But we're gonna go through some suffering, man. And um, you know, the scripture speaks about uh, the time of Jacob's trouble. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get that scripture and a few other scriptures. But yeah, man, the jo the journey is um is um it, it, you know is ramping up. And as the apostles have put these videos up uh, concerning um. The suffering that we must do um, is good to reflect upon what the scripture has said about Yahweh Shai and how Yahweh Shai suffered. And he suffered for us, man. Okay, he suffered for the whole nation of Israel, but he suffered for the elect first. And for the elect, the nation of Israel was going to be um, um, you know, brought back uh, into the existence. And he said, you know, the scripture said it best that he... That, that, that love of his life more than he loves his uh his Messiah, how shy that is, uh shall lose his life. He he that seeketh to gain his life was gonna lose his life. And that makes sense, man. He would have got into where you got an all being power that's gonna put himself on a on a on a cross and um give his life up for yourself. And you gotta be willing to to do the same thing and rightfully said, uh rightfully so, the scripture saith that what? That there was going to be some of us that was going to be put to death for witness unto your how was shy. So let's get into these precepts. Um, I haven't got them in a particular order. I'm just going to do them as best as I can. And um, hopefully it's going to be a, a edifying. It says, uh, Mark 13 and 9 says, But take heed to yourselves, for they shall deliver you up to council in the synagogues, and you shall be beaten, and they shall be brought forth uh, before rulers and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them. So the Heavenly Father set it up that, you know, the Heavenly Father set it up that we was going to be before Esau uh, for a testimony against him. And it makes sense. You know, this truth is the right hand side. Esau is the left hand side. That is to say we're on two opposing teams, man. Esau's trying to set up a new world order on the left hand side. We're praying that the Heavenly Father sets, sets up a, a new world order in a, on the right hand side. And no matter how challenging the process is going to be for us. In terms of experiencing it, you know, the difficult path is leading up to um, some goodies, man. Okay, the scripture says that there is a, a you know, I'm going to get it now, actually, because I can get an equivalent. I can get an equivalent within here, but I was going to quote. Um, I was going to quote the Apocrypha, where with the scripture says, um, you know, it's going to be a narrow path. Uh, and only one person can, can can go through it, meaning to say you can't rely on another brother to, for your salvation, man. Everybody's here for their own um, for their own souls, and you know the, the souls of their families and whoever the most high is gonna see fit to get into the kingdom off the back of the works that you're gonna do. But at the end of the day, you ain't here for yourself, man. All right. And it was likened unto having a fire on the right hand side and a deep water on the left hand side. Uh, Matthew 7 and 13, enter ye at the straight gates, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many they be which go in thereat. So there is a wide gate, which is going to be what? That's going to be the chip, man. There's going to be a large amount of Israelites out there that are accustomed to comforts and are accustomed to comfortability that are going to take this chip. You think about a Jake that's just, you know, he's got kids, uh, young kids. And uh, he's got a, a lifestyle that's been um, frivolous, right? He's he lived a lifestyle of, uh, in days, Jake's I've seen Jake's like this. I had one Jake that comes past the camp, um, but he's he's a cool Jake. He kind of, you know, resonates with what I'm speaking about. 
but you can clearly tell that he's um he you know he's he's got a, a so-called white woman in his life because i've seen the kids their so-called mixed race kids which there's no such thing according to the scriptures as mixed race but i use that as a statement that the um world understands he's got so-called mixed race children and um you know he you know he dresses you know dapper as far as this world world is concerned so and those kids uh happen to go to a private school uh from what i could tell because they had their uniform on on like a saturday when i was out there at the camp but when you when you look at this individual depending on how the most is going to have the game play out for him um you can clearly tell that he's going to have some difficulties letting go to his creature comforts right his kids are accustomed to a high standard of living his woman is accustomed to a high standard of living. He is accustomed to a high standard of living. His mother, of which your woman and your mother, man, bro, those are the two individuals that are going to destroy a lot of people out here, man. That's why the scripture says, uh, 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 he that is not willing to leave his mother his, 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 and his wife. Because you speak to a Jake, a Negro, Hispanic or Native American, and you curse out their woman and you curse out their mother, Man, you you, you might have, you might as well have started World War Three, man. Because when it comes down to a woman or, 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 or to a Jake, that's like the most uh, special thing to him, man. Okay, to a Jake, a woman is like the most specialist thing that that, that that could happen. His mother is the most specialist thing that could ever happen. But when it comes to the Lord, most of these Jakes they ain't interested in it, man. So that's why they're gonna get destroyed because the, their mother is gonna be what? It's gonna be reminding them about the creature comforts, man. When it comes time for the for this for the Lord to have this chip out here, it's gonna be your woman and your mother that's gonna be saying, "Look, man, okay, I can't be staying with you if you're gonna be if you're gonna be um if you're not gonna conform, man. I can't be with you if you ain't gonna get down with this chip, man, because I'm I'm about that uh, um a good life, all right. A lot of these a lot of these women, a lot of these mothers, a lot of these wives are gonna lead their men in, onto their destruction. But so be it, because guess what? The Heavenly Father set it up to where the elect uh, are not going to take this chip, man. The elect are not going to be deceived uh, by the wiles of, of the serpent uh, Esau, man. The, the elect are not going to be uh, 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 seduced, man. Okay, we're going to, you know, Yahweh, Shemash, right as I make it, we're going to take the hard path, man. And the hard path is, is just that. It's a difficult path. But guess what? Once you go through the difficulties, and hence the purpose of this video, is that if you go through the difficulties, there's a prize at the end of it, man. All right? Well, once you go through the difficulties, man, you're going to be there sitting on on, 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 on a throne judging the 12 tribes of Israel, just like how Yahweh Shai promised unto his disciples, man. He, we are joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. Think about that. What does it mean to be an heir? Imagine you was a joint heir to a, a kingdom like Britain, man. Okay, you was a joint heir with the so-called Queen Elizabeth, man. You was joint heirs with this individual. You'd be living a good life. How much more so joint heirs with uh, the, the king of kings, right? Right, the ruler of the earth, man. Okay, because Yahweh said when he comes back, he ain't coming back to be handing out uh, 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 um, good pensions and uh, the cars to a Lamborghini. He's going to be coming out here to, to hand out crowns unto the men of the Lord that, he, that, that made it. And he's gonna be handing out an ass whooping to the to, to the heathen and Esau, and he's gonna be a uh, a uh, 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 laying down a new righteous infrastructure, a new righteous kingdom within the earth. And he's so doing, he's gonna have co-rulers with him, man, vassal kings underneath him. Okay, just like how Tigulus Pilazar the third had vassal kings. That's how how like just like how uh, you know uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Alexander the so-called Greek had. Uh, vassal kings underneath him, the same way Yahweh is going to have his vassal kings underneath him, and they're going to rule uh, uh, with him in righteousness, man. Okay? And that's the position you want to be in. You want to be a king underneath Yahweh Shai, man. Because you're still a king. you got a king above you, but you're still a king, man. You're going to be balling out. Think about the riches that King Solomon had. Well, guess what? King Solomon is Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai is King Solomon. It's the same individual, and they're going to play out the same role again within the earth, but this time it's going to be magnified, man. Okay, because yeah, King Solomon paid for those sins that he committed in building the temples to to the women that he had, and now he's gonna come back and he's gonna stunt, man. Okay, King Solomon is gonna stunt. He's the men underneath him are gonna stunt, which is which is your house side. We're, we're gonna be enjoying life, man. All right, but in, in order to do that, in order to get to the good stuff, you gotta go through the pain, man. So uh, let's read this. It says, uh, so I'm gonna go to the uh, point I wanted to go ahead. Um.
uh, ninth verse, but take heed to yourselves, for they shall deliver you up to the council and in synagogues, and you shall be beaten, and you shall be brought forth before rulers and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them. We read that. And the gospel must first be published among all nations. So that's the first instance of knowing that we're about to get into the rough, uh, rough terrain. Once you see that the gospel has been out there throughout the four corners of the earth, I wish the Apostle Taha had announced that he believes that that's the case because of this internet. Then you know the the, the, the rough patch was gonna go was gonna be uh, upon the world. Uh, but when you shall, but when they when they shall lead you and deliver you up to the council, take no heed uh, beforehand what you shall speak. Neither be neither do ye premeditate. But whosoever shall be given, but whatsoever shall be given you in that hour, that speak ye it is not of ye that speak it, but of the holy holy ghost. Now it goes on to it, brother shall betray brother to, to death, to death, right? And the father and the son, the children shall rise up against their parents and they shall cause them to be put to death, man. So we're going to have betrayers out here, okay? But it's going to be the time of Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation, man. Um, let me get that scripture. It's in biblical revelations. Revelations 3 and 10, it says, because... Thou hast kept the word of my uh, patience. I'll also keep thee from the hour of temptation. Because, hey, it's going to be rough. But guess what? The Lord still has to save somebody, right? It's, it's, it's going to be good if it's you, right? So you're going to go, you're going to pray to Heavenly Father is going to be with you so he could deliver, deliver you in the hour of temptation. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. You was out here pushing this word, man. Okay. When that when temptation came upon you, you, you stuck to the, to the, to the script. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, and also a uh, 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 word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world and try them that dwell upon the earth. And that's the time we're getting into now. If 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 it has if it hasn't already started, okay. So brothers, prepare your mind, man. All right, prepare your mind. All right, all right. Keep your eye on the prize, and I uh, pray that the Lord is going to deliver you. Without my say, all praise unto Allah, Shimei Ashai, Bashimu Kakadash, that will honor us unto the apostles of the great millstone and honor us to be pushing this truth with sincerity. Shalom.